Hey guys, it's your girl Jaquela A. I'm back again to show you guys a one hand tutorial on a really pretty look. I'm putting my skewer bit into my e file, but first, y'all know we gotta push back the cuticles. My friend whose nails I'm doing here does not have bad cuticles like ever. She never really has problematic cuticles, but we both work a very hands-on job, so there's always just a little bit to remove. So we're going to get that right out of there a little bit at the cuticle. And then very lightly, very, very lightly, we're going to go over the nail plate to remove the shine. There's oils in our body. Those oils come out in our nail plates, which makes them look really shiny and pretty. But in doing enhancements, we got to get that up off of there. Or we'll have problems with product adhering to the nail and problems with lifting, etc. All right, I finally got all of those nails filed off very gently. So here I am using my Cosmo tips and my KDS glue. I get those Cosmo tips off of Amazon. They're the square shape tips. They also have a curved tip, but this is the straight one. And they're in a natural color. If nothing is going to be see-through on the set, then I like to use a natural color, especially for my vibrant colors. I feel like this very natural off-white base helps the colors come through. There I am just filing the shape a little bit. I really like the shape on this nail. I was just filing it a little bit, especially in the middle where it meets the natural nail. I'm adding my Mia Secret Nail Prep. So dehydrator is alcohol-based. You could just use alcohol. And then I'm using my Young Nails Protein Bond, two layers of that, and I love that product. I need to rebuy that product right now. <laughs> I need to repurchase right now. Okay, so I decided to use this lime color. This is a homemade acrylic. I use the Mia Secret White, the Mia Secret Pink, which is very translucent like a clear, and a Amazon Glow Powder. And then I bought those jars and I just kind of created a powder. Next to it, I don't know if I show it, but I do believe that I'm using the Valentino Classic Nude. I don't feel like this is a cover color. Maybe I did not apply it right, the Valentino Classic Nude that is. I don't think that is a cover color. I think um, it's a very pretty soft nude, but not a cover color. Here I am applying my homemade acrylic. It is not the smoothest. It is giving me a little bit of problems. But after I did this set, even though I did it the way it was, and I used the mixture the way I had already had it done, after that, I put more white in it more actual acrylic base what i what i use to make the base for it i put more of that in it and it really helped it a lot i think that i wouldn't have had so many problems with application if i had stopped and put a little white in it um but that really saved it make sure that when you are making your own acrylics and you're using a pigment or something like i did which was a glow powder and you're adding it to the acrylic make sure that you add enough actual clear or white acrylic powder to the mixture. All 
Okay, so here I am putting down a very thin layer of clear over that nail bed. And then I'm bringing that clear up just a little bit over the whole nail. And I'm adding a glitter. I don't want to make that clear too thick, but I do want the glitter to stick to it. The really, really pretty sequence that I got in a six piece or a 12 piece set off of Amazon. Plenty of colors. This is just a regular um, diamond or AB color. This is the silver color in that pack, but it really reflects a rainbow. I love, love, love this glitter. So there I am. I put another bead of clear over the nail bed because I wanted to see if this homemade acrylic would stain or would have any problems. And it did not, even on the nails where I did not do the clear first. But you know, sometimes you want to put clear down first over colored acrylic. I'm sorry, under colored acrylics because it may have a staining to the nail bed. And I guess you could follow up with your client or i don't know pay attention to yourself if you do your own nails to see if using color acrylic right on the nail bed is staining the nail bed or you could just also put that thin clear layer like i did here in case you just want to be on the safe side okay i applied that color and here i am doing a somewhat ombre with a glitter tip and a new base a new nail bed sorry and that's where i'm using that valentino classic nude just bringing that right up over some of that glitter and then i'll cap it of course because that glitter is quite thick there i am with a clear bead and i'm capping it that glitter is a uh, very chunky that's what i should say that's a very chunky sequin glitter so you want to make sure that you don't have too much acrylic underneath because when you cap it, you're going to feel, you're going to build that strength of the nail, that apex and the thickness over top. So you don't even need that much on the bottom. Okay, we are done with the application. And here I am with that large barrel cross cut bit that I love to use for finalizing the nails this is not a safety bit it is a straight cut at the front but it is nothing like having a ceramic fine medium or coarse with a straight cut it is nothing like having a carbide bit that is fine medium or coarse with a straight cut this straight cut bit is a diamond bit I've never nicked anybody never cut anybody never cut myself never harmed anyone with this bit if i was using any of my ceramic bits or any of my carbide bits you would see that they were safety bits because i don't know i just feel like as time goes on i'll just become more experienced and more comfortable with the e-file to the point that i wouldn't need safety bits but as a beginner because that is what i am i um for sure will recommend the safety bits i probably would recommend it to anybody because why not be on the safe side when you are using the e-file at you know very high speeds it's just an extra level of protection for the client so i got that out of the way i just smoothed over the surface and then i realized that i still saw some little scratches i saw some little scratches so i did buff the nails i think i didn't use it at a high enough speed you got to use a really high speed when you're just buffing over that nail with that diamond bit or at least i prefer it on a high speed because i saw some imperfections so i just buffed them out with the hand buffer and then here i am going in with the top coat of the day which who knows what it is i should start showing y'all my top coat collection is so many i'm using like 10 at one time i don't even know but when you put the top coat underneath that glitter it does really, really shine through. And on top of that glitter, let me say this. I did use the Mia Secret Pink as opposed to Mia Secret Gl Clear or Glacier Clear. Any of my other clears, I used the pink, which had a tinge, a tinge of pink. It was kind of reminiscent 
to the Valentino Classic Nude that's in the nail bed. I thought it would complement it more. But I know for sure if I used a crystal clear or if I used my Mia Secret clear, I would have had a better, uh, more holographic look off of that glitter. So that's probably why it's not coming through. But I really enjoyed the look that I got. It's a very subtle shine on that glitter. And I think it's pretty. So there it is, guys. There is no bling in this look today. I just wanted to do something simple with the glitter hits. And I am going in with my gelish cuticle oil. It smells delicious. Which this cuticle, cuticle oil was like lotion or something. Because it really does smell really good. I go up the whole entire hand. I massage it in. Because I love to take video and pictures after my work. If it's a set of nails or if it's just a one hand, I like to take videos and pictures. And so that's why I put so much oil. And there you go.